Morning. Morning, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you're watching this. This is the start of another day for us here. This is now on the 10th, yep. which is a Thursday. Lost track of days. Holiday. Thursday the 10th of February. Um, we're starting off, I say starting off, it's half past 10 in the morning. We've had a nice lazy morning, so we were exhausted from yesterday. We're heading off to... To the premium outlets on Vineland, to, so we can go to the character warehouse and see what they've got there, if they've got anything. Because we went there in 2019, Disney pins and t-shirts and ears, cheaper than in the park. I don't know if it's like end of runs. Or yeah, a lot of them will be end of run. I think sometimes they get the odd bit here and there where it's still the current stuff and most of it's end of line and that type of thing so yeah and it's just a change of pace and change of scene yeah we can look around the other shops there's obviously an outlet so it's got lots of other shops might pop into the nike store or nike store if you're american that'd be expensive then not necessarily it's the outlets yeah but you just go into a shoe store you can't come empty-handed no especially not a holiday day after your birthday so we might go for lunch at somewhere like the cheesecake factory possibly and then later on we'll be going to animal kingdom so we've got a 5 p.m. ish um, Lightning Lane special one for Flight of Passage, one of our favourite rides. Um, so we might see at that time whether we want to do a Genie Plus for the other rides that are there. Yeah, we'll have to see what the, the um, Lightning Lane times are like because it's not, it doesn't always benefit you to get them in the afternoon because a lot of them are gone by that point. Uh, so we'll have a look um, because we haven't been on a lot of, we haven't been on any rides at Animal Kingdom yet. No, so, it was um, our first day there when we went at the start of the week, so we just took it easy and it was busy because it was the weekend. So the plan rough is roughly the plan of today is do them all, mm -hmm. come back, rest a bit more if we want to if it's too warm out, then head to the Animal Kingdom for just before five. And then because we'll be there at that time of the evening, we'll probably mm -hmm. stay there till we'll close or very close to it. Yeah, see what see what light show because they don't do fireworks in Animal Kingdom because of the animals but they do like a light show on the water they did last time yeah I can't remember what they're doing right now yeah. so. but yeah it'll be like a later day but yeah so that's our plan for today we're just about to leave the room we're ready now we're just about to leave and go and get a lift now Dan's finally got ready we'll, uh... I always have to tell Bob that we're leaving half an hour before we are leaving because he takes so long to get ready I think because I'm sort of relaxed and laid back and I can't be asked to rush you think that it wouldn't take as long because I have hair, so I have to make sure my hair's okay. I have hair, it's just on the bottom of my face, not the top of it. But anyway, we right. should see you on the way. One hour later. Alright, we're here at the Premium Outlets. So we've just been into the character, Disney Character Warehouse. In filming there, it's very busy. Uh, but we've got lots of purchases. Over 100 quid's worth. Yeah, we uh, booked a table at the Cheesecake Factory as well, so we're going to be going there in a bit, uh, which is just about 15 minutes from here, or walking. Uh, so we're going to go there. We're going to wander around the outlet now, see if there's anything else we can see that we might want to buy. I'm sure there probably will be, but we've got to try and restrain ourselves a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan at the moment. Here's the map of the outlet, if you can see it. I don't know whether the, the, um, glare. the glare is going to be uh, too bad. I'll take a picture as well, just in case. Later. Right, we're now back in the room. I uh, didn't vlog much when we were out because it was busy, it was so hot. And as we said in many vlogs before, we're still getting used to the idea of vlogging in front of people. That's why this one does it normally. We did say in the vlog so far that we went to the premium outlet on Vineyard, Vineyard, Vineland, that place. Vineland Avenue. Vineland Avenue. Um, we've been there once before on our previous holiday um, because there's a Disney character outlet warehouse there. I'm getting on the names wrong, but you know what I mean. Um, we did chase some th lovely things there. Things are usually between a third to half the price they are in the parks. Usually like ends of lines, like the Mickey ears there, 
We're about seven dollars for the ninety-nine. Whereas they're usually like thirty in the park. And the Mickey popcorn bucket from Halloween was fourteen dollars. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know how much they normally are, so I can't really say. But yeah, it's just it, it various things there every time anyway because it depends on what they've got in. It's like end of sale things, end of lines. Um, then we took a walk from there to the Cheesecake Factory. Which I don't suggest anyone does. It's not far. It's only about 15 minutes at the most, but it's really exposed. So like today it's warm and there's no shade along that pathway from the outlet to the Cheesecake Factory. So did you so, just say, you did just say Cheesecake Factory. I did. Yeah. I bet I've done, yeah. So if we're, if you're like we are, not very healthy and fit, then it was, oh, it was, it was exhausting for us because we're not, not very uh, athletic. Built for comfort, not for speed. But the staff were really nice. Um, yeah. Well, oh yeah, the food, the choices of food on the menu. Yeah, we didn't realise how much there was. And it, and it's like pasta dishes, and steak dishes, everything. Chicken, yeah. But and obviously lots of chicken. Pages and pages of of your starters and mains, and then another about two or three pages full of various cheesecakes and desserts, and we admit defeat. Yeah, we didn't. We couldn't have dessert while we were there. I mean the. You had a couple of mouthfuls left of your pasta dish, you were just beaten. When we asked for fries on the side, he said small or large portion, and of course we just thought, oh, just, we're going to be sharing it a large portion, and we're talking a big plate full of fries. We took pictures, so we will insert the pictures here, so you'll see our mains, and our fries, and then our cheesecakes, which we brought with us home. Yeah, we, we, oh. the, um, the lovely server we had, Kieran, um, very friendly. Very handsome. Uh, it did say to us, um, "Did you want your desserts now? Are we take it with us." And we said, "No, no, no. We're defeated. We take it with us." Uh, I think it must be regular things. He just laughed it off and said, "Yeah, that's understandable." Um, got the lift driver back. Um, he was a very friendly lift driver as well. Yeah, both the lift drivers, both way, both ways were lovely. They were very chatty, uh, asking us how we were and having a good conversation. So that was nice. But now we've got back. Go put this stuff away. Just want to show you some of it on the camera quickly. And take photographs for our relatives. I got a whistle. Puppy got a whistle. <coughs> he loves his choo-choo trains. So that just echoed out there as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, cheesecakes in the fridge before they melt. This stuff's going to go away. We're going to have a shower and cool down. You know, one benefit about it this high is any little breeze we do get, at least it comes in a little bit because um, it's just so warm, we just want to open up and vent, vent the room a bit. Oh, so nice. I might actually sit out here in a minute, but um, enjoy the an view of the animals. But um, yeah, are. Oh. They're, they're exhausted too. Yeah. He says, trying to remember how to zoom in, slowly, slowly. Yeah, it's only about 20 degrees, but it's um, quite warm. Yeah, it feels for, warm. For us, that's, yeah, it's muggy and warm. Yeah, so we, uh, our time window for our um, lightning lane. Yeah, lightning lane. I keep wanting to say fast pass, and no, it's not right, so I keep stopping. We've got lightning lane later on in Animal Kingdom for Flight of Passage. Look how small my head looks. That's because my head's huge compared to yours. See? Actually, it'll work here to make it the same size. Um, yeah, we're going to see if there's any um, Genie Plus rides worth getting at the same time so we can try and get on to Narva River Journey and Kilimanjaro Safari but we're basically going to relax for a few hours then head to the park and do an evening there instead starting at about five-ish and let's see if there's any light shows um, so they usually when we were here last time they had water displays on the lake um, I don't know if they're doing that at the moment or not we've not really looked so time to flake out and relax and We'll decide what we do later on when we get there. 20 minutes later. In the room with the window open or the doors open. Can't ask for much more really, can you? Look at the view. So nice. The weather's lovely today. Just sitting there watching TV while Bob edits uh, vlog number one from the holiday. And he is editing. He does most of the editing. That's why they're dodgy. <laughs> he says that's why they're dodgy. Uh, but yeah, he's editing. I'm laying on the bed. Just flip the camera. 
I laid on the bed, doing pretty much nothing. I just played with my droid unit, which you may have already seen, my R unit. And that's pretty much it uh, for a bit. I know we've already told you, but I just thought I'd give a bit of an update so you know what we're up to. Moments later. Right, it is uh, five o'clock. We're just about to leave the room. Our lightning lane starts in like 10 minutes. So we've got an hour to get to the park and get on flight of passage and then we can decide what we're going to do from there. At the moment this vlog is going to be quite a short one. We'll try and vlog quite a bit this evening to make sure that there's something to <laughs> bulk out this week's vlog. Um, but I'm not sure how how much there's going to be. So I apologise in advance if there's not a lot. But hopefully there'll be a decent amount. Uh, so we will head off now and catch up with you on the way. So we've got on a bus for Animal Kingdom. Uh, it's more of a coach than a bus from the, the resort today. Um, and we can see it. It's a proper all-out coach. We got a bit confused when it arrived, thinking, is this like dropping people off who just arrived from the airport? No, apparently he, he said Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom. So we on the coach. It's a bit weird. But hey, as long as we get to Animal Kingdom, we don't care. We're ready for our um, booking. Uh, I think on comfortable seats. No, it's more comfortable than the seats that we normally have, so that's good. <laughs> I made it to Animal Kingdom at last. That was an interesting journey. We're the only people on the bus, our coach. We got stuck at some lights for about 15 minutes. They didn't change. Changed for everyone else, constantly. And then for us, they uh, it just didn't change. So uh, we didn't think we were ever going to get here. I think the bus driver stopped at the wrong bus stop as well. It's half past five now. Yeah. And it's now half past five, so we're heading to the park, get to Pandora, which isn't far from the entrance, luckily. It's not right over the other side of the park. And go and do our fast pass, our uh, lightning lane. I will one day stop saying fast pass. No. No? Oh, they should just bring back fast passes. Oh, it's still a bit bloated from our cream cake, our cheesecake we had. Oh. Yes, we did. Um, we'll put it all down in one go. Shouldn't have done really. Yeah, we ate our cheesecake and then we realised afterwards we probably shouldn't have eaten all of it. Back in the park. So the park closes at seven today, so I haven't got a lot of time. Eventually. Right, so we haven't vlogged much. Uh, we just got off of um, Flight of Passage. Which is always a good ride, we always really enjoy it. I did realise I do need to take my glasses off though. So everything's still double vision for me, uh, unless I take my glasses off. I can't really see it very well because it's a bit fuzzy anyway because of my eyesight. But it's better than the, the double vision. Now the experience on the ride is always fun. However, this particular ride was marred ever so slightly by a child screaming constantly throughout the whole ride. Um, the child already had expressed dis uh, concern in the previous room where the guys talked to you, I can't remember his name. And the, the mother ignored it. So the, the child was basically screaming the entire, as soon as the lights went off in the room she screamed for the entire ride. We don't blame the child, uh, just that the mother should have maybe thought about it because the child already didn't want to go on the ride in the first place. So yeah, it was uh, kind of sport a bit, for me anyway, because the child was right next to me. Um, the music was loud, so at least that was something. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I love that ride. At least, at least when it was loud, it drowned out the screams, but say it's not the kid's fault. No, she, no. Made it very, she made it very good. She barely tall enough for the ride. She made it clear she was scared, didn't want to go on it. And the mum hadn't been on it before herself, she was saying, so she didn't know what it was going to be like, but yeah. Poor kid was absolutely petrified. Yep, just screamed the entire time. Top of her voice. I want to get off, I want to get off, I want to go, I want to go. Probably scarred it for the rest of its holiday. Yes. Whoa. Okay. So we're heading towards Dinosaur now. See if we get on that. It had a short wait just a minute ago, so hopefully it's still got a short wait now. It's still 20 minutes by the looks of it. It's not too bad though. Was that 30? I can't tell, it's all fuzzy. 30, you think? Did you want to go in it for 30? Yeah. It will be in it till it closes now though. Um, I can never remember what his name is. Aladar. Aladar, yes of course. And it's in the queue now. I don't know whether it is actually half an hour. They might put it longer just to stop people from trying to join the queue near the end. It does look quite long though. Oh no, not as long as I thought though. It's an interesting fact. Dinosaur used to be sponsored by McDonald's. Uh, so you'll see um, 
different tubes with um, a yellow, a white and a red one over there and they've got the chemical makeups of mustard, ketchup and mayo on it. Just over there. Probably can't see it very well but yeah that's the chemical makeup of the three condiments. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Aeoramus. Hadrosaurus. Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Just got off a dinosaur. I did take some footage, but I doubt it'll be any good, so you might see a little bit of it before this. Yeah, it's good. I always enjoy that. It's very dark here. Enjoy it, Bob? Yes. I forget how much you get thrown around on it. Oh, I remember it. <laughs> I held it on tight. Yeah, I held on tight, but I forget like how bad it is at some point. Uh, I don't know whether the photo would have come out. You can't scan to get it, so sometimes you have to wait for it to come off on the app. You have to say whether it was yours. This park's actually closing in 10 minutes. It depends on what you want to do, Bob. Walk through Pandora, maybe just look at the lights? Can do. It's going to be busy still, though. Like I said, for us then. Yeah, it's up to you. No, it's up to us. I just, yeah, I just said it's going to be busy because people will go there to try and get on the rides right at the end of the day. Later. Next morning. Hello. Morning. Uh, we forgot to sign off the vlog last night. Um, so, yes, Bob was very tired. Uh, so, <laughs> we're doing. I when it was asleep on the bed. We're doing it now. So, yesterday, uh, Animal Kingdom in the afternoon was. It was okay. Uh, as, as we said, we had a few issues with um, the screaming child, and just want to clarify that. I don't have a problem with children at all being here, obviously. Uh, Disney's for children, for adults, for everyone. Uh, it's just, obviously when you're trying to enjoy a, a ride and you've got a child screaming next to you the entire time, it does get to you a little bit, so I apologise if I was a bit ranty, but... But no, we said in, in the time, it, it's not the kid no, we had the problem with. This kid, little, little girl, bless was barely tall enough for the ride. Must have only mm. just hit the height limit. And within five, ten minutes before they actually go into the ride cube corn flight passage, she was screaming and crying, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, I'm scared. Yeah. And her mum and what I assume was the ground who hadn't been on themselves, they were saying to each other, ignored her completely. Because, oh, no, that's no, fine, that's fine, you're going to have it. And you don't do that every kid's that scared and terrified. No, I know from experience that when you force a child to do something they don't want to do, they're just never going to do it. I mean, I've, I've, was, I've been forced to go on rides before when I was a lot younger and it scared me so much that I didn't go on rides for a long time, so... That's the problem, that, that car, the kid will be scared now for ages for, of going on certain rides. It just doesn't make sense. Being a simulator where it's, even though she's strapped in, it's tipping you around, being flat passage. And she was petrified, bless her. So I yeah, don't understand why she was screaming, but if it's yeah. the adult in this case, take it's, notice if you kid. Yeah, it's obviously going to affect um, other people's experience, isn't it? So Because she was right next to me um, screaming at the top of her voice the whole time, it did affect my experience of the ride. Uh, and I'm not sure whether they're going to be able to get on it again while we're here, so I, I don't know. I mean, I've been on it before, uh, but that's all it was. Um, we then, we noticed that they didn't need to take the child on the ride because we saw them later on on Dinosaur without that child, the two women, whoever they were, and the other kid that was with them, and they dropped off that child somewhere else, so we know they had somebody else that could look after the child, so... 
But anyway, that was that was all that was. Um, we got out of the park pretty quickly after Dinosaur. Didn't do much else. Came back to the room, got a few bits and pieces on the way to the room from the shop in terms of like snacky bits um, to sort of keep us sated because we only had the Cheesecake Factory at lunch. And then nice and healthy. Then cheesecake when we got back to the room. So yeah, but that was it. We did catch some of the firework display from our balcony oh, yes. at the end of the night. We're not sure which park it was. I assume it's Magic Kingdom hmm. uh, from the direction that it was coming from. Just a quick update. This vlog will actually include both the tenth and the eleventh, uh, due to the fact that on the eleventh we didn't. Um, do too much, so there wasn't enough to make our vlog, so we decided to put the two days in one. Welcome to the 11th of February, and today uh, we had Magic Kingdom booked in for today, but we decided to do water park in the morning because it's quite warm. It's meant to go up to 24 degrees centigrade today, uh, so yeah, it's uh, we decided it's the best day to do it. And nothing so to do with the fact that even though we got up just before 7 a.m. and to book Lightning Lane for Seven Dwarfs Minecart, it was all booked out by three minutes past. Yeah, Seven Dwarfs Minecart train to, uh, does go so quickly. This new system, they've got Lightning Lanes and Genie Plus. It's crap. Yeah, it doesn't work very well. So, um, yeah, that's that's the plan for today. So we're in our shorts, um, ready. So we're going to go to the park like this, and then we've got um, some shorts in our bag to change into afterwards. And uh, yeah, we can see what we can get on, see what we can film on. I'm not sure what we can film on when we're there. I don't know the rules off the top of my head, so I'll have to ask when we're there. Um, but yeah, we will we'll see what happens there. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. Yes? Yes. So we're here at the bus stop um, at Kidani Village. The buses don't go direct to Typhoon Lagoon from here. Uh, you got to get to, you got to get a bus to Disney Springs first and then transfer apparently. I don't know why that is. Um, I know that um, Typhoon Lagoon's quite far over, so maybe that's why, maybe they don't do that long journey. Uh, but yeah, that's, we're just waiting for the bus. I'm hoping it's not going to be too busy at the um, water park, I don't want to wait too long. Um, I don't think it will be because it's February and I think a lot of people will be in the main parks, but we shall see. We made it to um, Typhoon Lagoon, a bit of a faff because you have to go to Disney Springs first and change, which took forever. It seemed to take like forever, the bus took a long time. Did contemplate getting an Uber or a Lyft. But we're here now. You won't see this vlog very much now because we can't really on this camera. This is going to go away. Uh, we'll do some filming on the um, GoPro which we have here, which yeah. is waterproof. But we can still use it in like the lazy river and stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll try and keep as many people out of it because we know it's not fair to film other people. So we'll only film where we can do. And then we'll catch up with you properly afterwards. Uh, we will, if we can, we'll, we'll do some spe speaking on the GoPro, but the sound may not be great. Pretty quiet here today. It is bodes well, and it's not actually that hot right now. Sun's out, um, but the cloud, there's cloud coverage too. Ahoy mate, please remember to hold on to the panel at all times, thank you. Nice 
maximum lays in the... have no control over these. Oh, that sun's nice. So lazy. Oh, yes, nice and relaxing. This is my taste. <laughs> Mine too. I can sit here and relax for ages. The problem with the camera is I don't know whether it's filming me or not. Because it's wide angle, I end up filming my fingers every now and again. Leg. Leg, leg, what's on the menu? Leg, leg, what's on the menu? So then, exciting content, as always, brought to you by Seven Bear Travel. <laughs> <laughs> it's always pleasure to view our naked torsos and feet by buying new walk shoes and pressing the green UV, whatever it's called, t-shirts. Yeah, well, they're water shirts, but they're like an SPF of, uh, like, you check out the SPF of 50, yeah. Uh, they have an SPF, some section back of 50, yeah. Uh, I think we're liable to their micro Yeah, I'm, I'm very fair-skinned. Uh, I have ginger in my family, so uh, I think I've got the ginger skin. The box has burned a lot. It's going to stop his head from burning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, the sun feels the inclination in his set of photos in 2019 when I came here. Not even with sun tan lotion on, I was just right red by the end of the day. Assuming you can hear us, because we haven't really tested actually vlogging with this camera, to be honest, so... It's like we're reading subtitles on the bottom. If we can even remember what we said. Oh. Moments later. Oh, uh. More moments later. We just sat down for something to eat. We just changed the uh, view on the camera so that it's not a wide angled lens anymore, just a standard lens, just for this bit. But here's our food. Looks lovely. We're both starving, so um, we have, we have um, hot dogs. We've got hot dogs with fries, french fries. So they are like chunky chips from home. Very nice. They're seasoned. I've got a chocolate milkshake, and Bob got a tropical lemonade. Tropical lemonade. Yeah. We are going to enjoy this, aren't we, Bob? Definitely. We'll just catch you in a bit. Now we finished lunch. What's the plan, Bob? To finish my drink. It's very nice. The um, milkshake, sorry, the milkshake was very nice. I, I finished it. But it's so thick you can't drink it through the straw that I was eating it with a fork. Just because the spoons were all the way over there, I couldn't bother to go and get them, so I was eating it with a fork. Anyway. This is modern voice to say what? Um, hello. So yeah, we're going to go, because we've just eaten, we go being lazy on the lazy river for another loop, just to relax. And then we go down all the other rides, we're going to crush a gush here, and maybe, no actually, Miss, what's the Gang, Gang Pank Falls, what it's called. That one's good, and Miss, what's the other one? Miss Adventure Falls. Yeah, but the two single rider ones, not doing them again, no. they're shit. Oh, well, they were not my cup of tea, because the first one is just something nothing, it's just two, right, two little corners and you're done. And the second one is just so shallow that being of a bigger build, I kept grinding out a little bit and I was just thinking, it's not fun. Pardon me. So that's our plan. Uh, you may see some footage. You may see some footage, uh, but I don't know because um, well, I cannot keep the camera. 
Eat steady. He always moves. Anyway, yeah, we'll see whether we get any footage. Later. So we're heading out of uh, Typhoon Lagoon. We um, spent a few time. hours here. I don't know what time it is. Uh, let me just check my phone because my watch died while we were in here. And mine broke. Bob's broke. Uh, it's quarter past four. Also broke my knees. Yeah, so um, we had a new experience today. Bob fell over uh, getting off of Mrs. Adventure Falls, cut both his knees open. So we got to experience first aid. Ouchies. Yes, he's got ouchies on both his legs. So we went to the first aid to get some band-aids and some antiseptic wipes. Uh, the guy there was very helpful, gave us some spare ones. Yeah, no, that was a lovely experience. So unfortunately I shan't be running any marathons at the moment like I wanted to. Yeah. And his watch broke, so both our watches are meant to be waterproof. Bob forgot that his watch face was loose, and so that broke. So yeah, we uh, have to replace that at some point. But yeah, we're heading out of the park now. Can we go out this way? Yeah, we go out this way. Thank you. Eventually. Good evening. We have finished our day at Typhoon Lagoon. We've been relaxing in the room for a little while, uh, just chilling out. Uh, we've decided we're not going to do anything else this afternoon, this evening, sorry. Um, so this vlog's quite a short one. This is why we're putting it at the end of uh, the previous one. Uh, so that there'll be two days in one, just so it's not too short, otherwise you end up with a ten minute vlog. Because we looked at the time, you got like three hours before the parks close, mm. if not even that, maybe time actually get to one of the parks. There's no decent far, um, lightning lanes that's worth getting. Um, Dan's obviously tired. And Bob's my, knees are hurting. My knees still hurt where I took chunks of skin out of them at the um, Typhoon Lagoon, where I fell out of the water raft, trying to disembark it. Yeah. So we just thought, just stay here, we can edit, we can flake yeah. out. We're up early tomorrow, it, well not too early, but we're up tomorrow morning, we're off to the Riviera yes. at 10 o'clock. So you've got an appointment with the DVC. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go and have a word with them, talk to them. Doesn't actually mean we're getting DVC, we're just going to have to get some information and find out what the best thing is for us. Um, but yeah, we haven't got any other plans beyond that. Tomorrow is Epcot. So we can see what we're going to do tomorrow. We don't know yet, we haven't booked any lightning lanes or anything. So the only lightning lane that we might book is Remy, if mm. we can get it in the morning. Or Frozen again. Or Frozen. I'd prefer Remy because we haven't done it here yet. I oh, know, yeah, but we can get two. Yeah, we can get, try and get two. Um, so the lady from DVC in the Kadani village foyer earlier said that um, they provide transport from here to um, a Riviera, uh -huh. where there's somebody who can deal with it more, and they also give us transport back. Although, if we're there, we'll probably have lunch there, mm -hmm. and we can all just get the um, skyline and over to Epcot when we finished. Yeah, so this evening is just a lazy flake out, recharge. It's a holiday at the end of the day, so we haven't got to do no, no. lots of stuff, but yeah, we're just going to flake out. And he's taking my phone case, so he thinks I'm fiddling with my phone case, playing with his phone case. Things in my hand I just ordered a new phone, just in case anyone wants to know. Just pre-ordered the S, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Uh, just because I saw it there, and I could get it an upgrade, even though I'm not at the end of my contract. Does it come with a free watch for me? No, it's mine broke. Yeah, he broke his watch today. But yeah, I think that's everything. Anything else you want to add? Do you have a good day at Typhoon Lagoon, anyway. Oh, apart from Paul Dover. yeah, well, yeah. Apart from the last, maybe I fell out the thing, but. We did uh, say, luckily, he <coughs> fell out at the end of the day, rather than right at the beginning, because that was... So they try and hold it, it's one of the ones with the big rings, we haven't been there, it's like a water park with a great big ring, that you're both sitting inside, raft, and as the two guys were holding it steady, I mean, Dan got out at the same time, I think, with the, me trying not to kick the guy in the face, I swung my legs out, and Dan out at the same time, I sort of fl ended up flipping myself over onto me, and I fell out onto the sort of the concrete bottom of the... Water, run of water mm. because being sh you know sharp concrete sort of stuff it was just end up taking a big chunk of skin out of both knees so lovely so a little bit hobbly at the minute we'll be yeah. fine by tomorrow but yeah just one I thought rather than 
doing a lot of walking around the parks tonight, rushing to a bus, get into the parks, blah, 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 blah. Have a good, nice, lazy evening. Yes. So, yeah, um, apart from that, I think we will sign off then. Say good night. Anything that might happen later on is might go to tomorrow if we get really hungry later on, but we've both been snacking on cookies and crisps and stuff, so. It's either that or we're going to order McDonald's to the hotel or the resort because the McDonald's on their Happy Meal are currently doing little stitch toys. And as everyone knows, I'm stitch obsessed, so I might have to buy a couple of those potentially. <laughs> we might do that. I'm sure we can get it to the resort. I've seen people have pizza delivered here, so I'm sure Uber Eats is fine. Yeah, apart from that, I think we'll sign off then. And if you've enjoyed this vlog, this two day vlog, um, please like or comment in the box below as it really helps the channel out. And please subscribe to our other socials um, Facebook group of Puff and Bear Travels, Instagram Puff and Bear Travels, and Twitter Surprise Surprise Puff and Bear Travels. Um, yeah, and then obviously subscribe if you want to see more from us as we've got lots of vlogs still to come. And um, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Come on, come on, baby.